Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you a very useful trick on how to fix the red screen on Final Cut Pro plugins. This pro tip is so cool and works for any version of the Final Cut Pro. So while you are editing, sometimes you come across with a wonderful plugin that you would want to use it on your project. So you go ahead and purchase it or you download it if it was free, right? Then you just go ahead and install it. Once you install the plugin, you notice that the plugin is not correctly loading or missing in your project. That is when you start to see the red screen. I know it is annoying, but don't worry. I will show you a very quick and smart trick on how exactly you can get to load the FX plugin successfully in Final Cut Pro. Let's jump in. In this sample project, I came across with this plugin called Disclosure Face Effect Plugin for Final Cut Pro. This is kind of a cool plugin where you can add sketchy face effects on any video that you can share on your YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc. Okay, once you obtain this plugin or any plugin, whichever you like, you need to install the plugin onto the FX folder of Motion Templates. To do that, you simply open Finder, then look for the Movies folder on the left side. If you don't find the movies folder on the left side, just go to the finder on the top, then select preferences and then select the sidebar tab. Then you tick the movies item. Then you come back to the finder. Now you will see the movies folder on the left hand side. Click the movies folder, then click the motion templates, then select the FX folder, then copy the downloaded FX here. I have already placed the FX here. In your case, you just have to copy the files here. Usually, the files are with the extension .moef, which means that's an FX plugin. Just a quick tip, .moef means it's a FX plugin, so you need to put them on an FX folder. .moti is a title plugin, so which means you have to put them in a titles folder. .motr is a transition plugin. That you need to put it on the transition folder. So. When you are installing any of these formats, just make sure that you put it in the respective folder. Now you start your Final Cut Pro, you go to the effects tab, you would see the plugin already installed. If you have the correct version of the Final Cut Pro that matches with the plugin version, you will not have any issue. Otherwise, you will start to see the red screen. This means the downloaded plugin has an issue with the version of the Final Cut Pro. In this exercise, I fixed this plugin to work partially just to demonstrate you how you can fix it. If you notice, you see the face 5 plugin that is showing the red screen. So easy fix is simply go to finder, then to the movies folder, then to motion templates, then select FX folder, then select the disclosure face effect and browse the face 5 folder. Easier way is simply right click on the effect in Final Cut Pro and click reveal in finder it will actually take you to the exact file where it has been loaded okay then right click face5.moef and open with text editor any text editor would do i'm using a simple text editor in apple now you notice these two lines which is oxml version 5.11 and display version 5.4.5 you need to change the oxml version and the display version to know your version, simply note your Final Cut Pro version. Just at the top, click the Final Cut Pro, then click about Final Cut Pro. There you would notice your version. My version is 10.4.6. Now there is a template comp compatibility guide. I will leave a link in the description. Just open the link and note the OZML version and the display version column for 10.4.6 my case is 10.4.6 so the OZML version and the display version is 5.10 and 5.4.3 you just have to simply enter this into the text which you have opened it that's it so you just come to the OZML version type 5.10 and the display version 5.4.3 that's it close the Final Cut Pro and open it again there you go simply do this trick for any of the effects or titles or generators or transition plugins which you have loaded. If you like this video, 
I would appreciate if you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would give me a motivation to do more videos. And if you specifically want to know any trick, kindly do let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to do a video posted for you. Thanks for watching.